Alright, today I'm going to talk a little bit about the new Bevel 3D camera that I got yesterday. Uh, I've been playing with it a little bit and I've been learning how it works and seeing what it can do. And uh, yesterday I took about 25 selfies with the Bevel at various uh, levels of quality. Uh, with the Bevel it seems like it's something that you have to kind of learn how to use. It's something that you uh, won't know how to use right out of the gate, but it's very easy to use right out of the gate. The app is very simple. There's not a whole lot of complicated things to it. Um, right here you can see the app. Uh, over in the uh, left hand bottom corner there's a picture where you can go to your gallery. The main part of the screen is the part of the screen that you're seeing the camera and it's seeing uh, it's using the front camera rather than the, or I guess the, it's for the facing camera is what it's using right now. Um, you can always swap it right there. Uh, to turn on the laser, you push this or touch this little area here and that turns on the laser and it turns it back off. That enables you to start making the picture. It doesn't actually make the picture uh, when you do that. So what you have to do to make the picture is you have to turn on the laser. You see the laser visually on and then you uh, push the capture button. All right, so let's look at some of the captures I took at yesterday. Um, and this morning. So it comes with one free capture, or I guess one capture that they made at Matter and Form. And it looks okay, looks good. It's just the face. I was curious how much of a picture it would take right out of the gate. Um, here's me wearing a hat, and it's kind of got a little bit of distortion around where the hat is, but my face looks pretty good, and it's got a part of my shirt. Um, you can zoom in, you can zoom out, and then you can also upload the photos to the sharing site Bethel Pix uh, for your friends to see. Uh, it's like another website, so you can just share it like a link. Um, I did get some pretty good ones. I got I got pretty good at making the timing right and uh, doing the scan properly. It looks like it's it's not a really fast scan, but it's not a really small scan, e short, uh, slow scan either. You can actually take the scans and uh, um, make them a little bit faster than you would think. I would think anyway, just right out of the gate, trying it out, and, uh, and then you know you get you get a decent picture. Uh, it looks like right now the technology is limited to just taking selfies. Uh, I didn't have to go in front of like a perfect perfect background, but I did have to have a decent amount of lighting. Um, not a bunch of lighting, but at least a decent amount. And then the camera on the phone seems to kind of adjust for lighting. This is one I took this morning, and it seems to have some things floating out in midair in front of it. But other than that, the rest of them that I took that I kept um, came out pretty good. I think they're I think they're good selfies, and it's making for interesting things for me and my friends to share. I'm really looking forward to summing the 3D technology that we'll be able to do with the bevel, so that I can scan something and then hopefully 3D print it myself. Um, they do have the 3D printing capability off the Bevel Pix website. Uh, the problem is right now I think it's only, it looks to be only limited to Shapeways and maybe a couple other things. I don't, I don't see immediately a way to get a STL file out of it. So um, that, that's something I'd like to see coming forward. But for now this is a great technology and it's really, really getting a great start. Um, one more thing with the gallery, if you edit you can actually pick the pics and just delete them. Uh, so I deleted quite a few of the ones that I didn't didn't like. Um, like I said, the app is extremely easy to use. Uh, it does have a settings screen here as well. Logged in as this or that. Um, I use my Facebook to log in. Um, it's just got creations and followers. I don't think that's quite up to speed yet. Maybe or maybe I'm just the first one using it. I don't know. But uh, yeah, so um, really easy to use. Uh, it tells you if it's maybe too bright or maybe too dark, um, but I ignored those warnings and I still got some photos, but there was a decent amount of light. So if these guys are suggesting to you not to use uh, the camera or whatnot, you might just try it out. Uh, it's not going to hurt anything to make one and, and then uh, uh, you know see what happens. Uh, one other thing too is when you take a picture in this gallery, you'll see that it's processing right after you take the picture. My phone turns off after like two minutes, so sometimes the processing doesn't finish. I have to like tap on the screen and keep the phone on. Um, but if it's a fairly quick scan, not too quick to make a good picture, but a, a fairly uh, brief scan to make this picture, uh, the processing doesn't take that long, and you should be able to, to make a picture 
fairly easily. So, yeah. So I, overall, I'm proud of the pictures I've taken. I've, it's fun to share them with friends and family, and uh, it's it's kind of new. So I can't wait to see what additional enhancements and uh, upgrades they make to this this app as time goes on. I know they worked really hard to get it right right out of the gate, and it does work. It works quite well as you play with it. You just got to learn how to use it.